Alright, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to run CyberSoul on several sites such as Foot Locker, Easy Supply, Supreme, and also Shopify sites like Jimmy Jazz, Kip, Lucio, and hundreds of other sites. So to begin, you want to head over to your billing section and click New Group. You can name the group whatever you'd like to, I'm just going to call it Test for the Video. Head over to that group you just made and click Add Profile. Once you've made that, name your profile, name whatever you'd like to, enter your card information, expiration date, CVV slash security code, your email address, phone number, and then click the shipping section and type in your first name, last name, address, city, and everything else. Once that's all entered, just hit save. That's the most important part. You want to make sure all your billing information is correct because with the wrong card number, you're obviously not going to be able to check out. Once that is complete, you're going to want to head over to the settings section. This is where you'll be changing your delays and basically just other small things about the bot such as notifications, if you want to hear yourself getting checkouts, webhooks, that's basically your checkouts going to Discord or Slack, accounts for, let's say you're running undefeated and you need to sign into an account to check out, it's basically going to be your email and password and then just click import with a semicolon between those and basically everything straightforward from there. Data is just you transporting um, profiles from other bots and yeah. You can also head over to the proxy section. You're going to want to hit a new group to do that just like how you did for billing. Type in your group name, going to call it test again. Then you're just going to want to hit add proxies and copy and paste them in. Cyber has these new cool features in their latest update 5.0. It basically, let's say you're running residential proxies, it's basically going to tell you how much data you use, so you see what your data is being used if you're running several bots. They also have this test feature, which you could test your proxies on any of these sites that, down here. These proxies, this proxy group that I have here is older, but you could still see, test it on Shopify, click test. Does request error as these proxies are expired. Once you've imported all your proxies and saved them, name it whatever you want, you're going to want to head over to your task section. Here, we'll start off by going over Shopify task. We'll start off by going over kit. Type in kit in the store section. You could select whatever size you'd like. I'm just going to put random. For monitor input, you could use keywords, URL, or SKU. Usually for Kith, you're going to be wanting to run Kith early links, which are provided in Juice.io, this cook group. If you don't have early links, you could just make up your keyword and hope it works. Let's say we're running for the Jordan 4 Red Thunders. Just type in Jordan, comma, 4 Red Thunder. I'm not sure if that will even work. That's just something I made up on the spot mode for kith initial releases you're going to be wanting to run safe preload i'll go over the other modes later in the video profile it's going to be the same built the one that you made in the billing section so test same along with the proxies but for sites like shopify you could always run your two local tasks but no more than two for shopify just create your tasks with safe reload you're going to want to start these around five minutes before the release at higher delays and you could also change the delays specifically per task so let's say you're going to start it five minutes before you could start it off at 20,000 with 50 timeout and the rest of that doesn't really matter you can have price check but kit doesn't really mess with any of this just hit save task and you're going to want to start this task about five minutes before the release when time comes around 30 seconds before the release, you could just quickly edit your delays for this task back down to like 4,000 and you should be fine. When the drop is live, captures will appear that you will have to solve. To add Gmails for the captcha solvers to be signed into, you're going to want to head over to your settings section and click Google accounts. So once you're here, just click add account. It's going to pop up the Gmail sign in. You can name it whatever you want. So basically the start of the Gmail is what I usually like to do. 
proxy. This is important. You want to set in your CAPTCHA harvesting proxy here or an ISP. Just type in your email. And then once you hit next, it's going to be password. And then just hit save and you'll be signed in. You go back to your task section and you click CAPTCHA harvest, CAPTCHA solver and a harvester will pop up just like this. So once you're here and you're running kit, you're going to want to select Shopify checkpoint solvers and you're going to want to open another one for Shopify checkout as you're going to need both. And if you don't really care which capture goes where, you can just select all captures. I wouldn't really recommend this, but that's up to you guys. That's basically the setup for kit Shopify. Next, I'll move on to easy supply. You want to go back into the task creator section, click easy supply. Here, you're just going to enter the SKU. You can go to easy supply real quick. We see the these easy 350s loaded onto the websites. Blue tents currently still banned on this website for some reason, so I can't get the SKU right now. But let's just say it's GW drive four. It's gonna be something like that. Same this thing again. Add your profiles and proxy group. And you could edit delays per task. You don't really need to mess with price check once again. Just create task. And unlike we did for Shopify, you don't really need to change your delays at all. You're just, it's just gonna be the it's just gonna be the same delays for pretty much the entire release. Easy supplies are a very easy site to bot in my opinion. It's where you'll probably see your most success. And that's personally where I see most of my success. And yeah, just start tasks around two minutes before. All right, so to set up for Supreme, just type in Supreme. I'm obviously gonna be running Supreme US. Size could be whatever. Type in small for this example. Supreme, you're gonna be wanting to use keywords. You can use box, call a logo. It's gonna be under. You're gonna make sure to enter the specific category you're running. So t-shirts, just say touch two. Color, I'll take black. Proxies could be the tests again, and same profiles. And for delays, just run around 500, 500, and you should be set for the whole release. Just click create tasks. And you don't need to have these delays like per task. If you don't want to do that per task, you could just edit the general delay in the settings section under default monitor, have it to whatever. Okay, lastly is the foot site setup. It's pretty much the same thing for all these sites. They're really all similar. As of recent, Foot Locker has been raffling off all their pairs on their foot apps, so pairs rarely drop online. You're just going to want to grab the SKU, which we provide in our guides here at Juice. Enter your SKU. Card payment could be, or payment could be card or PayPal. Just go with card, personally. Profile is proxy, same thing. Delays could be around 3,500 for this release. For foot sites. Just do create tasks. And that's pretty much how to create tasks for Shopify, Easy Supply, Supreme, and foot sites. Thank you for watching the video. If you learned anything from this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you would like more one-on-one -on -one help from me and several other experienced botters, then I recommend you guys signing up for Juiced. Every week we do botting calls as well as free bot rentals, which include bots like Cybersoul, Velux, and Stellar, so it's well worth the monthly fee you guys will be paying. If you want to give it a try, make sure to use the code YouTube for 20% off your first month via the top link in the description. Hope to see all you guys there soon.